What's going on, Explorers? Your man, Brandon Abandon, 6'4", Explorer with Urbex Sticklin. I got a really cool spot for you guys today. This is a 70s, 80s time capsule. It's been abandoned since 1996, so almost 30 years now. It's untouched, there's no vandalism. It almost seems like there hasn't even really been any rubbish fairies here yet, but this place is amazing. You guys are gonna love it. I'm happy I got here. Let's jump right in here and let's get exploring. So I'm at the back of the house now. There might have been doors open in the front, but it's close to the road. So I came to the back to get my camera gear all set up. I noticed there's a car just over here. So we will go check that out at some point. As soon as I walked in here, cobwebs. It's got that really old abandoned smell. There's almost a smell of pee as well, unfortunately. That's a real old TV. What a beautiful old TV. Things are starting to get a little bit weathered in here. Check that out. Very cool. What do you got? Old school couch and a beautiful mirror. Now there's the living or I guess dining room. We're in the living room. So let's just kind of go along the way here. It's quite the big copy fax machine to have at home. The date on the paper says 81. But there's a calendar in here that says 96. Cool little unit. All right, so it looks like maybe there has been rummish fairies here since, since the video that I seen of the house. I wasn't even coming here for this house. That one's a January 1990. Yeah, I wasn't coming here for the house. I was coming here to uh, to a different spot. And as I drove by, I recognized this house immediately. So I pulled over and thought I would come and check it out. And you see, people have gone rummaging through all these. Probably used to look a lot nicer. Looking for jewelry. The arms are starting to look pretty rough on those, eh? The curtains are still up. Even on there, a little rough. I'm not sure. Oh, well, yeah, so there is power in here as well, which is crazy because it's been sitting here since 96. Oh, that's a cool picture. It's got the shine in it. Oh, the lady's shoes. stuff all over <laughs> arrest the Fuhrer unfortunately they didn't get to wasn't 
show you what that weird box was. The old cabinet. That's probably silver right there. Like a Dutch style cookie jar. Very cool. Lots of old silver. I just want to see the Got the detail on that. Beautiful. Now this calendar says ninety one again. And so I guess well it's starting to look pretty rough up there, eh? This is a bungalow, so there's not going to be an upstairs, so we're not going to have to worry about that being a problem while we're walking. I'm just going to pick up a few pictures that I see on the floor here. Hopefully, they didn't have any addresses on it there. But look how cool these are. Really old. Is that not cool? And this table. It's got everything on it. school phone this one's like a purse phone <laughs> that's pretty neat tons going on I don't want to go opening up everything. We got a china set. Some more plates. So, extra candles. Some fabrics. A whole bunch of silverware. Silver plate. That's pretty nice. Beautiful. Again, there we go. I had to use the old hip to get it closed. That's the stuff from the ceiling that's falling down. That's spider web we gotta walk through. Now we're gonna go to the kitchen first. Nice picture. And some more cobwebs. old school TV. There's personal stuff in some of these boxes, so we're not going to go searching through them. Again, that's a nice red bottom bowl. Beautiful teacups.
all the glass is like dyed green, yellow, red. Old school chicken. I don't imagine there's any water here, but that looks so bad. We're not even going to touch it. As I say that, something tickled my ear. Beautiful. Old school. Watch how the dials are all different colors. <laughs> On all of them too. That's awesome. I'll take a peek in, in one, just to see. A little bit of cooking stuff. A whole lot of cooking stuff. A beautiful blue fridge. Frigid air, frost proof. Full of medication, pops. Yeah, a lot of medication in there. Just wanted to see if there was any eggs that might have hatched into chickens. Almost looked like you would step on that pedal. <laughs> The bottom of that's not opening. Not a chance. You see a calendar up there, but it says 1970. So it's definitely not the right date. This one says 87. and stuff in, in some old school bottles. Those are cool. Like an infant syringe. Hopefully it's just plastic. But how old is that rubbing alcohol? I love seeing old school stuff like that. See, and that's what was in the ones on the ground. Just randomly knickknack stuff, screws. Here we've got a couple pictures of who could be the daughter. Maybe a daughter and a friend. We got an awesome old school $5 bill. Back when money here was nice, now our money's plastic and weird and not so nice. Even that's weird. That's a rubber sink stopper, but it's, it's starting to mold away. It's turning green. Country animal products, nutrition. Well, there's the way into the garage in the basement. Keeping the rolls to the uh, paper towel. Poetical birthday book. This is nuts how everything is still here. These people literally vanished. And I know I don't have a story, I don't have much information, but there wasn't much. 1977, yeah, this is definitely a 70s time capsule. Definitely. 
Everything in here seems to be from that date. Whoa. Stuff falling from the mice. Yeah, oh, it smells really bad of pee in here. So definitely, definitely mice or some sort of animals been in here, maybe stuck in here. Maybe that's what I'm smelling is the actual animal itself. Oh. Bathroom's not in that good condition. There's no water, obviously. Not even in the back. We got Dodd's kidney pills, some old ointment, <laughs> 12 cents off plus old school crest. See everything in here is dated way back. And look at that. Pepsi Din up there, 59 cents. But just the colors of everything, a toothache remedy. Is that just liquor in a bottle? Normally I wouldn't get too in depth within these cabinets, but when everything is this old, we gotta look at it for a minute. So cool. through here last was only maybe psh, like five eight oh just standing here it's touching my face somehow yeah 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 all right well we're gonna come back that way but what we're gonna do first It's not extraordinary. And how the wood's all starting to get that white on it because it's just about to mold. That's crazy. Those old pictures. I didn't even notice that old leather jacket there. It's beautiful. We went in there, we checked out this room. We still gotta go do the bedrooms and this living room here. So I think first, the living room. Good luck right here. It's gonna be your front door to the house. Nice little chandelier, nice little detail here. Very cool. I just love the smell in here. You could tell nobody's been in here for a long time. And I'm not talking about the, the people that came and rummaged through everything those people you don't know about them it's the uh, the fact that nobody's been here for 20 years before they were here big old clock what I'm noticing too is they mostly all look pretty good but that one there the fur one, look, you can start to see to the skin. It literally falling off. Good thing I have, a, oh, this black one too. Look at that. The fur is literally falling off the skin. That's gross. Good thing I got a hand sanitizer.
beautiful plate. Nineteen seventy-seven. Everything in here is from the seventies. I'm sure people were living in here until ninety-six, but they didn't buy any new stuff and they didn't upgrade the house from seventies on. Let's start on one side. I'll do one quick little. We got a kid's pool in here. And then again, the roof's falling down. The ceiling, sorry. Because it's weird. It's just like stucco on top of poly plastic. That's not going to stick. Those red. Like, look at that. Purple almost. Looks purple on the camera. Looks red in life. These people, they had their house set up cozy. Really nice. There's a painting behind the couch. And a nice painting behind the couch on the wall. Isn't that beautiful? Heavenly Twinkle Starlights. Yes, please. Christmas. Magical. More gold plates. That lamp matches the other one. Unicorns. Well, this almost has the same flower design, but it's, it's blue, not purple. I prefer this one. Ah, those are still nice. But yeah, I'll take the blue one. They got flowers everywhere and candles. Some Christmas stuff and Christmas lights. So I wonder, again, another house that went abandoned during Christmas? I don't understand that. Fake wood in there. Oh, but it's got an actual top, so it is a real... This is a real fireplace. Those are weird light bulbs. I've seen Christmas lights like those before. I like them. Beautiful vase. That lamp is awesome. The detail on it. And right here, big window all the way along. There's neighbors across the street. And it's early. I got here early, so they could probably see my light through the blinds already. Curtains. So we're not going to open the window. All the woods beautifully carved. Everything looks amazing. It's good to see that that's in the plastic. Uh, 
in a plastic bag, keeping it safe. chair with the lamp beside it that was the old boy's spot Beautiful. There's a lot of mirrors in this house. Whenever you're alone and you're exploring, mirrors, they always seem to, they get your attention. It always makes you think somebody else is there, but then it's just you. So this here, where we came in. <laughs> I'm too big to turn around in the hallway. I guess we will take one little peek. It almost looks like Christmas presents still wrapped. Some animal was bringing in different types of, of nuts. Keep everything how it was when we got here. Just nuts. Whole lots of mouse poop. So we're gonna be careful and not touch that too much. I'm just looking at this lady again. <clears throat> Whew. Almost need a mask. It's kind of starting to get a little bit thick in here. And that uh moving some of that crap around there. Just dusty mouse crap. And that stuff's the worst for you to breathe in. You don't want to breathe in mouse poo. So I gotta try to not touch stuff in the closets like that in the future unless I got a mask. You guys will have to remind me. The Bissell 400. You gotta be cocky putting a big old number like that on it. A coconut. <laughs> yeah, some people have rummaged good. Real old school little heat dish. That's pretty cool. This old school newspapers from a long time ago. Old letters. And, like people opened up everything. Old school clocks. You put a lime in the coconut. <laughs> Curious. Why is this coconut here? See? And another mirror all over the place. And a beautiful, beautiful ladies' washroom. It's like a pink farmhouse. And beautiful. Sinks pink, details pink. Whole clothes hamper with nothing in it. Sorry about that, everybody. My uh, my 
GoPro got too hot. It doesn't normally happen. There must be some sort of a some sort of an energy in this house. It's got to be powerful if it's enough to overheat my camera. Even the pink toilet paper, it's definitely 70s. Definitely. That's awesome. My hat touches whatever that was. 60 minute time switch. And then you get out of the bathroom and you let the other person use it. Some of us got to get to work, okay? Going to have to, uh, there we go. On this chair here was a whole lot of pornography, so I had to cover it up with a sweater. Look, everything's still in his little, his little drawers, everything. bed starting to get a little weathered now itself Simpson Sears I've never seen a Simpson Sears catalog from Christmas 1966 this might even be might even be a 60s time capsule A whole bunch of random. Look at that cool picture. From way back in the day. And then there was some letters, so we're going to put those away. Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Some more catalogs. Some lotion. Did anybody notice her? Her here with her wig still on? Well, well, well it was anyway. Ugh. Lord have mercy. Well, my hands are just trying to get dirty today. There we go. Just for a minute. Let's see ya. See, like, you don't think the things would be empty, but somebody's been here. Somebody's went and opened up everyone. Either that or the family did, or the lady did beforehand. That's cool. Let's That's not cool. Public school certificate nineteen twenty four. The first day of August, 1924.
Wow. Wow. That definitely goes back. old newspapers and anything on these oh yeah how beautiful that is Anne Hathaway Cottage, printed in England. Look at that. Beautiful. We'll put it beside this lady in the Canadian tire. The old school lamp, the old school flowers. I hope you're all noticing the details in here. Like even the curtains here match. That almost looks like it's ready to go to church stuff. Beautiful old clothes. <laughs> you got a five cent comic, you must have really liked that one. Kept it rolled up. Seems like it looks like people are looking and going through everything. It's all just kind of clothes and fabric and all that kind of stuff. Let's move past the chair of pornography. Check out some of these old shoes. Beautiful, beautiful. That's a little shoe hanger. Ontario High School Arithmetic. That's super cool. I love when old books too are written in like that. Nineteen twenty four Canadian Rockies. I did some traveling. Kept a bunch of his stuff from his travels. Again, just cards. Cards and fabric. I mean, like, those are just towels. That one's going to be hosiery. Nylons. Yeah, it's a bowling ball, you'd think, but no. Nope. More fabric. More fabric and cloths. It almost seems like it could have just been a lady. I haven't really noticed any uh, men's clothes, I don't think. It could just be me. More comics that he liked. He wrapped them up. Five cent ones. <laughs> That's very cool. Just boxes of shoes and fabrics. Stuff to wrap it up with. Very, very cool. Old school fan. Wow. Yeah. Ladies' wig. So I hope, I hope everything that happened here 
was a good situation. I hope everything that happened here was the right time. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Got old newspapers from '69, and then those weird things put on the back. Newspapers, 1969, 1974. Make sure that gets back under there so it doesn't doesn't get ruined. And like tons of Christmas cards and stuff from family that this and the lady must have collected. Mm. Yeah. Mind blowing. Now that I'm here, I've got a better a better name and an actual address. So maybe I can uh Try to hunt down any information possible. But again, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it is very hard. I'll go this way. <laughs> A mirror. Another mirror, and somebody just taught me that they do that so that it doesn't smash, so that it doesn't get kicked. Because I moved a mirror off of a wall. It was turned around and on a wall, and I moved it. I thought it was a picture, so I turned it around so we could see. It was a mirror, and I left it. Somebody sent me a message letting me know that the reason it was put that way was so that it wouldn't have gotten broken. And it didn't. But now that I've moved it, it's just a matter of time. Wow. Do it. It's a little duck wheel as well. That's why it smells like pee. Because the basement's flooded. 86. 75. <laughs> the vine's growing in through the door. So we'll get over here. Ooh, around all that crap. Look at it, it's a wall. It's just a wall of spider webs. Another one here. Dishwashers, lawnmowers, drawers, boxes, garbage, gigantic back computer chairs. It's like three and a half feet. <laughs> Maybe even bigger. I've never seen that. Just tons of stuff that was being collected. Tons of everything. I guess we might have to try to get over to that door. So I don't know where that could go. Unless it leads just out of the house. It's a beautiful old tractor. International Cub Cadet. Hydromatic 14. Arr, 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 arr. And 
and I unfortunately don't have my boots today. I've taken tons of stuff out of my out of my backpack and everything. Just to lighten things up. December 75. The spectator. Mm. So many old things in here. Yeah. It just goes outside. And we're not ready to go outside just yet. Don't like walking on that. Now, if anybody was around outside, they've heard. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, these stairs feel weak. So it's, it's not finished really. There is stuff, damn it. That's just over a case of water high, which is gonna be too high for me. Lesson learned, I'm gonna have to remember to bring my boots more. But like this room, it's just long. There's a fridge, one table. Well, that table too. And then just a whole bunch of garbage kind of floating around. In there, I can see one table, possibly a couch. Yeah, but we're not missing much. We're not missing much at all. Everything that's down here, you can pretty much see it's floating. Besides that, we've got a fridge. So we don't have to be too sad about this one. We can see the whole area. So we know we're not missing any cool rooms or anything like that. So that's a bonus. Whoa! <laughs> almost went backwards. Bag's still a bit heavy. It almost looked like somebody was setting up stuff <laughs> so that they could walk over. But again, next time I will just, I'm just gonna keep my boots in the truck. I cleaned the truck out, took it for a nice car wash, which is the reason, the reason for them not being present. 93. So that's the latest one that we've seen. 93. Crazy. Now I'm going to take a few pans, a few pictures, and then we film the outside, then we get the drone up in the air, and then we are out of here. I almost don't want to go. When it's houses like this, I just, I get so curious and so. I don't know, like a cozy feeling almost. Like I'm meant to be in this type of an atmosphere. Purple rooms, pink rooms. That still doesn't even look like men's clothes. I think this literally was grandma's house. Rest in peace, grandma. I love you. I miss you.
battery charger. It's awesome. Don't worry, Grandma. We'll get you there. Spark, spark, bum, 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 bum. and off she goes. Just want to see what was in those. Nothing. Sanitizer. Let's go home. Here's the back of the house. We're gonna go for a wee little walk. Oh, look at that hole. Now, I don't have my gimbal at the moment. I'm just holding the camera with my fingers. So forgive me if it's not the smoothest for this wee section. The only part that's not done with the gimbal is this little outside section with the car. So please don't let this detour you from watching the video. It's a beautiful old ride. We've got a farmer's field. And then in the corner of the farmer's field is this beautiful car and this abandoned house. When it's the wind or when it's the summertime and these trees are all full, you wouldn't be able to see nothing. Very cool. I love the color of it. Wow, spiky, spiky vines. Beautiful. Man, whatever these spiky vines are, they suck. These red things. That's a nice ride. I dig it. Very, very cool. Everybody, what a crazy house this was. Absolutely amazing. 60s, 70s time capsule. Been sitting here since 91. I think we'll determine. I don't know, maybe the 96 I seen was on a different video. Because we looked at every single one, and besides all the ones in the 70s, we seen the 91 was the latest one. So, absolutely amazing. I hope the grandma and the family that lived here, they, if they did pass away, it was from natural causes. And when you see a situation like this, you just hope everything went good. And you wonder why it's sitting here. A lot of the times, the town buys it, and they can't get the money back that they paid for it. So development costs go up and up and up and they just start to lose and lose and lose and then it just sits here. But I hope you all enjoyed this one. I'm so happy you guys came along with me. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.